Hello everyone, it's me Willy. Welcome to my tutorial video. And this time in this video, I will talk about tab in Microsoft Word. Um, like my previous video, tab is another basic thing in Microsoft Word beside um, indent. Okay, and uh, we have talked about indent on my previous video so if you want to know about indent you can watch my other video about indent now let's start about this tab discussion um like usual we need to show the ruler on this document so we can uh, adjust the tab easily and um, one more thing if you happen to see my second pointer okay my second pointer and it is smaller please ignore it um, it will happen every time I zoom in because um, I use Windows magnifier this one and um, in this recording it will create another smaller pointer every time I zoom in so please ignore the small pointer okay uh, click this view and then check the ruler so the ruler will be shown here and here okay um this is the tab this is the tab okay and uh, oh, left tab uh, this one called left tab it can be clicked because uh, there are several types of tab for example if I click it will change into this one and it's called center tab and this one is right tab this one is decimal tab this one is bar tab this one um this is indent okay just like this one and it's called first line indent and this one is uh, hanging in then just like it and then that's all um, it's the left tab again but uh, before we before I demonstrate these types of tab um, I will talk about um, what tab does normally okay um, every time I hit the tab button on the keyboard it will move half of inch for example um, now I'm hitting the tab button see it will move half of inch and if I press it again it will move another half of inch etc okay like that so um, if I want to move this cursor to this point um, 5 inch 5 inches for example so I need to press the tap button 10 times okay 10 times because uh, one time it will move to half of inch 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 Okay, long way to go but uh, it will be different if I use this tab mark okay uh, let's start to demonstrate it for example uh, I use this left tab okay um, what left tab is uh, I will discuss it I will talk about it later okay if I place the tab here, um, any tabs, okay, any tabs, for example, here, just a random place, and I press the tab button, the tab will move to this point directly, okay, in one hit, and then the second example. I will place the tab here and then I will hit the tab button 
it will move it directly okay and if you want to erase the tab you just need to click and drag okay click and drag out of the ruler like that click and drag out of the ruler well uh, that's the use of tab now uh, we will try I will try to demonstrate the difference of each tab except um, except this one because this is just the first line uh, first line in then like this so if I click it here see it just first line in then like my other video and this one hanging in then it will be just the same if I click it here see for um, hanging in then so uh, I will not discuss about these two uh, hanging in then and the first line in then okay and the third one oops I miss it the bar in then ah, this one I'm sorry bar tab okay bar tab um it's rather different from the other tabs for example if I click the bar tab here for example so the bar um, will directly appear here and then if I click another bar tab here for example just a random place the an another bar will appear here okay and yeah it will um it will uh, always appear every time i move the line every time i hit the enter as long as the bar tab here um still here every um as long as it is still here so if i move it if i erase the bar tab here see it will disappear yeah just just like um, another tab if you want to erase um, or remove the tab you just need to click and drag out of the ruler okay this is about the bar tab so um, it's rather different from other tabs okay now let's start to discuss so uh, there will be of four four types of tab this one left tab okay you can see the axis the axis is on the left okay the axis is on the left the, the vertical line so uh, that's why it's called left tab because the axis is on the left and then if I click again this is center tab the axis is on the center okay, center tab and I click it again and it will be the right tab the axis is on the right and then if I click again it will be the decimal tab just like the center tab but there is um, you know like a dot here uh, this is the decimal sign okay decimal, uh, decimal sign here okay let's start let's begin from the left tab uh, I will place the left tab here for example we will see the difference okay and then uh, I will hit the enter button for the second line I will change it into the center tab Okay, center tab. I will remove it first and then I will change it to the center tab. I hit enter again and then I will change it into the right tab. And then the last one I will change it into the decimal tab. Okay, so I have four different tabs here left tab center tab right tab and decimal tab 
so what um, I'm going to do is I just hit the tab button here okay and for the second line I will do the same for the third and then for the fourth see now they are on the same position directly on the um, tab spot here okay for the first the left tab I will type uh, some words for example I will type Microsoft Word okay see this is um, the effect of the left tab the axis on the left the axis is on the left so um, it will stay for the it's uh, the, the, the left side and then the center tab I will type the same words see it will stay on the center because this is the center tab and then the right tab because the axis is on the right so uh, it will stay uh, on the right side and um, it's a bit different for the decimal tab because this decimal and uh, it only affect for the numbers okay, for the numbers so for example I will type 1 2 3 4 5 and then I put the decimal here and then I will type another numbers for example 6 7 so uh, the decimal is right on this um, tab okay Another, exa uh, another example for this decimal tab um, I will type 500.123 so uh, it will be aligned for the decimal okay that's the decimal tab so this is the left tab um, the axis is on the left okay the axis on the left and then this one is the center tab the axis is on the center and then this is the right tab the axis is on the right and then these two examples is the decimal tabs uh, the axis is right on the decimal sign okay um for your information this uh, in this computer I use the English language the English language the United States language so it means um, the format is international I mean the decimal sign uses the full stop okay it will be different if you use another language for your computer for example if you use um, Indonesian language so if you want to make the decimal sign you need to type comma not the uh, full stop and it will be um, it will work but if I use comma here for example like this like this it won't work here okay because uh, the decimal sign that can be read in this computer is full stop if I using if I use the full stop like that okay now let's move to another example um, I will use the new file okay and then um, I will type for example um, just like the invitation letter maybe 
the place uh, so in here I want to uh, make the list uh, where is the place uh, where uh, where's the where's the event will be will take place and then when and what date like that okay uh, I use tab here so it it can be arranged um, easily okay and then I always use a uh, tab okay uh, it maybe it's okay to use space but um, it's not recommended I will show I will show you later place and then um, date and then uh, it's in the okay. So I will select this text, and then um, I will change into the left tab. Okay, like that, and then I will place. See, uh, when whenever. I place the tab it will move okay like that and then for the second place for example like this okay so for example uh, the place is the um, computer sorry and then that uh, for example November the um 11th and then agenda um Microsoft Word training okay I, I like this so um it it can adjust the text like this okay um for example now i will use space place and then i use space here and then date And then agenda. See, um, it's rather difficult. It's more difficult to adjust, um, this text. Okay. The least you can do is you can um type the space so many times, like that. But you know, um, it's really not recommended. Okay, it's um coincidentally uh, on the straight line. But it just once again, it's just coincident, and it's really not a good idea to type the space so many times like this. Okay, so use the tab and use the uh, hit the use the tap button and then use the tap um, here okay and uh, another example another example um, for the signature for the signature I will type for example just just a random just a random topic here um, the first party and then I will type the name here uh, for example and I will make it um, at this right side okay this right side but 
I want it to be centered. Okay, I want to be centered because um, I can use actually this right alignment. Okay, but it will be on the right. So if I want to, uh, if I want the text to be on the right side but still centered, so I will need this center tab. Okay, I will um, undo. Okay, and then I will change it to the center tab, and then I will click it here, for example. Okay, and then I will tap here and here. See, it will be centered on the right side. It will be centered on the right side. Okay, um, I can still add another party, for example, at here. See, um, I will type the second party. Okay, and the second name I will type, for example. Okay, um, just the same. I want this second party to be centered, but on the left side. So I will use this center tab. Okay, the center tab, and then I will place it more or less here or oh, here. Okay. Then just the same. I just need to click tab uh, for this line, and then tap again for this. I'm um, sorry. I haven't placed the for the this uh, this line. Okay, so I will use this format painter. Okay, just uh, for the information, format painter is to um, copy the format, just the format, not the not the object. Okay, just the format. So uh, if the first line has already had this center tab. And I I use the format painter to this line, so this line will uh, will have the same, just like the first line. Okay, I hit the tab button. So here we are. We have two uh, two parties here, the first one and the second one, and both of the, uh, both of them are centered. But the one is on the right and the second is on the left. Okay, that's for the tab. Uh, I think it's, that's all. If you want, uh, if you have something to ask or something to say about this video, just comment below. I will be glad to hear it from you. And I hope it can be useful for anything you do. Um, if you find it useful, please give it a like and share it to your friends and your and to your colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe. Okay. I'm Willie. Thank you for watching. See you next time.